Give me a minute and let me give you an update on Avdivka. If you look at the mainstream press, according to them, Avdivka is about to fall or Avdivka has already fallen or yada, yada, yada. Now, look, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what's going to happen in Avdivka. But I can tell you that the Russians just got lucky the last couple of weeks. And they got lucky in two ways. One, they found a pipe. And the pipe let them go two kilometers inside Avdivka and come up behind the Ukrainian positions. And that's causing all kinds of havoc. No doubt about it. Um, the, the bad news about the pipe is I reported yesterday that the Ukrainians had found it and shut it down. They haven't. It's still open. Um, the good news there is that it's a pipe. That means you're not getting any tanks in that way. You're not getting any heavy equipment in that way. You can't even resupply properly. Um, in fact, the Russians released drone footage of them dropping water and food to these uh, Russians that are inside of Avdivka. So that's an ongoing problem. And again, luck, good luck. The other thing, those advances uh, on the northern flank uh, around the quarry in the Ivushka Dasha area, they were apparently enabled by a new kind of night vision technology called the invisibility cloak. If you look at this picture here, this is a thermal image of the forest and the Ukrainians are using thermal imaging to detect the heat signatures of incoming troops at night. And then you look again, and the guy opens up his invisibility cloak. Now, look, that could be a freaking thermal blanket, like the kind you put on, you know, your brother-in-law at the Boston Marathon. Uh, it could be just that simple or something like it. But it is defeating the thermal imaging cameras. What they need now is they need to upgrade everything to night vision cameras uh, and motion sensors so that they can detect these guys moving in. Apparently, that's how they got into the Ivushka Dasha area and allowed for a forced concentration to build up there and cause some trouble. Um, but at this point, that bridgehead has been eliminated. Um, Ukrainians released footage of them in Stepanova Street, um, and they had cleaned out the area of the Russians, and they had captured a bunch of Russians there. So at this juncture... I wouldn't claim to know the future. And anybody who is saying that they know that Avdivka is about to fall, uh, I would say hasn't been paying attention to the Ukrainians very much. And uh, the, as far as I can tell, the Russians just got lucky the last couple of weeks. That's it.